In order to live an effective life, we must be able to make use of the resources that every human being has. A human person has four types of resources. First, there is the physical resources that provides you with energy for your action. Then you have the emotional resource that gives you the motivation and the push to achieve things in life. Then you have the intellect, intellectual resources that gives you the guidance. And all these things are uh, under the guidance of your relationship with uh, a creator, a god, a transcendent relationship, which is called the spiritual resources. Of all these four resources, the most mismanaged part of us is the emotional resource. Because of uh, our life experiences from early childhood onwards, we have come to understand that uh, feelings and emotions are something bad and we repress that. Parents uh, say, don't laugh, uh, don't uh, show your emotions, don't cry. Communications of negative uh, or communications that negate my right to express my feelings have forced me to push them down and pretend that they don't exist. And because I am not even aware, at the most unguarded moments, I explode in anger or I shake with fear and I withdraw from life and all kinds of mismanaged emo, uh, mismanagement of my emotions uh, leading to my life to be very ineffective or colorless. Now, if we learn to manage our emotions intelligently, then we become more colorful, more alive, more active and capable of relating uh, to the environment and to human, uh, be fellow human beings and lead a very happy life. Uh, in order to do that, we must learn to, uh, first of all, intelligent management means when a feeling is experienced, I need to become aware of it. Awareness and uh, is what we call intelligent. Manage the emotions of anger, fear or sadness with uh, awareness, which enables me to get control over my whole life. And so I am able to uh, express my anger appropriately and proportionately, appropriate to my age and the stage of life, proportionate to the occasion. Appropriate to the age means if a two-year-old child kicks his sister because the sister took his toy, it's an appropriate behavior. But a 78-year-old man like me, if I kick you because I took some of your things, that is not appropriate. And uh, feelings have to be expressed proportionately. That means if an occasion demands a small expression, a very light expression, not very intense, then you do it that way. When you want to kill a mosquito, you do not bring the Bofors gun to shoot. You use a small uh, sw uh, fly swap or something. For. So that is why how we need to this can be done only if I learn to discharge the energies that are frozen inside of me. There is a special therapy called AMR, Awareness, Meditation and Relaxation. You become aware of your feelings and through a process of meditation and focus attention on the feelings which enables, which activates the stress and tensions of the body and through a process of breathing in and breathing out, release the tensions so that you reach an equanimity which enables you to express your feelings appropriately and proportionately.